to be behind on the cards, but he's flawed, Haney. King Ryan. Ryan. The king in New York, Ryan Garcia, wins the super fight. And the celebrations begin. And Devin Haney is beaten, defeated for the first time in his professional life. And Garcia with a big upset in New York. Oh, the voice of boxing, Adam Smith there. Ryan Garcia floored Devin Haney three times in a majority points win over in New York, as you heard. And that's how it unfolded, of course, live on Talk Sport. Uh, Simon, you love your boxing, and I yep. know you love this fella. Nick Pete joins us live. Uh, Nick, good afternoon. What, what did Ryan Garcia tell us then with this win then, Nick? Well, he became an absolute global superstar, didn't he? Because his antics for the last eight weeks displayed somebody that wasn't in the right mind that we all thought, you know, this guy should even be getting into a boxing ring. Some of the things he was coming out with were incredibly dark, barking at press conferences and attacking people verbally, physically, you name it. He showed all the hallmarks of somebody that shouldn't really be stepping into a boxing ring, certainly for the most competitive fight of his professional career. And then he fails to make weight on Friday, which means the world title wasn't even on the line. Yeah. And there were so many appeals. And basically, Golden Boy Promotions, everybody involved in this promotion, they had the position to say, tune in Saturday night at the Barclays Centre in New York because you're going to see a car crash. You're going to see a car crash live. And that would have generated tons of pay-per-view. But what we didn't know, Jim, is that the car crash victim would actually be Devin Haney yes. and not Ryan Garcia right, because right. Haney got dropped three times and Garcia made off with the decision. What a fight it was, Simon. Yeah, I, I know you've been all over it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Gar Garcia was impressive and a whole lot more than that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I wasn't in that camp. The others were in it. And I spoke to Spencer about it and we've done it on various shows. I always thought that Garcia was playing possum. I didn't think he'd beat Haney. I thought Haney's recent performances, okay, he was lucky to get past Lomachenko, but against Regis Progre and other fights that he's had recently put me in a situation where I thought, and given the way that Garcia, I thought, swallowed it to some extent against Tank Davis and wasn't prepared to get off the canvas, when most fighters around thought that he could have done, I thought that he wouldn't have enough. But I didn't think, I don't know what you, Nick, were you in the camp that you thought this, this guy's all over the place mentally? I always thought that there was an element of playing possum with Haney, getting into his head, allowing him to think that this guy was mentally unhinged and not all over the place and wasn't together. And even to the point where people were suggesting that he shouldn't be in the ring because mentally he wasn't in the right place. I never had that thought process. I always thought that he was playing possum. Yeah, after Tiafimo Lopez showed similar signs last year and absolutely turned up and done a number on Josh, Josh Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. I was I didn't want to commit on that too much. You know, I did a a now and a half build up show on Friday live around the way ins and we kind of picked holes in everything. I'm like, listen, those closest to him believe he's of sound mind and he's able to yeah. get in that ring. And yeah. also, Simon, he wasn't late for a single media interview. He wasn't mm -hmm. late for the weigh ins. You know, he did some stuff. Uh, he, he put out a lovely post about Roberto Duran wishing him well in hospital on yeah. his own social media, where he was completely fine. He did something with Jim Lampley, the US commentator, where he was completely fine. So that if you knew where to look, you could see there was at times where he was absolutely normal. Did he expect him to turn up to this level? Did he create chaos? Because fighters often you know, blossom in the center of a tornado. Absolutely. But I think more than anything, it completely threw Devin Haney off his gonna, fight. I was going to ask Haney's you about Haney. Be super technical. technical. Because yeah. Haney got out-hooked by Garcia. Every time Haney throws a hook, he gets hooked back, back you know, by Garcia. What did you make of Haney? Because he couldn't cope with Garcia's power. Garcia only actually fought in bursts. There was large portions mm. of the fight where Devin Haney was allowed to do Devin Haney things. Yeah. But, but I think because of the conversation about his mental health, because of the history, these guys have fought each other six, six times, times back yeah. in the amateurs, three wins apiece. There was a lot going into this fight and a lot of pressure on Devin Haney to do a number on uh, similar to what Javonta Davis did. Yeah. The guy shouldn't be in there. He's not in the right frame of mind. Go in there and make a statement. But this is Devin Haney that's had eight consecutive world title fights coming into this fight all points decisions he's not a finisher yeah. he's a points guy he's very technical he sticks to the game plan he does a great job but yeah but on saturday night he decided to pull the trigger he decided to try and load up his shots yeah. look for individual big hooks and it played into the hands of ryan garcia it was insane what 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 is next for both of these guys in 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 your view then nick 
But Ryan Garcia, he's the kingmaker now. He is the biggest star in the sport. So many eyeballs came to this fight because of the narrative coming into it. Oscar De La Hoya must feel like he's got the lottery ticket and he's hit the jackpot because he was a loss here, a loss with Jaime Munguin, who fights Canelo in two weeks. Golden Boy have finished. They, they, they're two marquee stars, but they're right back on top now with Ryan Garcia. I think he's done at 140. Obviously, he didn't make way for this fight. There's obviously opportunities at 147. There's also opportunities up at 155. He can literally pick whoever he likes, Jim. Pick whatever world title he wants to go for. And I tell you what, whichever world champion takes that call, they'll jump at it because he brings astronomical eyeballs, astronomical pay-per-view. For Haney, just like Garcia last year when he lost the tank, he's got to go away, pick up the pieces, and maybe get his bag and bowl out and try and get a rematch. <laughs> Brilliant. Nick Pete, nobody better. Thank you so much uh, for, for joining us. And you heard it on Talksport. It was sensational. Ryan Garcia uh seen off the challenge of Devin Haney. But he just it didn't just win it though. That's what Nick was saying. Yeah. And and you emphasized that mm -hmm. as well, Simon. Haney didn't appear to have any answer to it. Well, as Nick said, the one thing that Haney doesn't have is concussive power. And he beats people technically and he fought the fight that Garcia lured him into thinking that he could fight. He got out hooked by, uh, you know, he, he 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 put himself in the way of harm and got harmed, and he got it early in the fight and still can maintain the same position. I, again, I watched him. You know, all the big noise about him walking on the scales, drinking beer. I didn't think that was beer. I didn't think. I thought it was all designed to create a reaction, whether that was complacency or or pity or whatever it was. Yeah. I mean, what he did was he created a huge. I mean, like I mean, as 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 Nick says. Oscar De La Hoya is sitting there going, given the fact he's sort of thumbed his nose up against the Saudis, has sitting there now rubbing his hands. And if he gets yeah. Canelo winning his fight, he's going to rub him even more. Oh, goodness me, yeah. Uh, there's Rob, who's a big fight fan. I so didn't see that performance coming from Garcia. Haney is brilliant, but he ain't no Floyd Mayweather. And there have been comparisons to him. I don't think anybody is Floyd Mayweather, are they, Simon? I don't think we'll ever see the likes of him again. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.